Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, figure out the number of sigma and pi bonds in a molecule. Now, it's, it's very hard to, to visualize, uh, for me anyway, maybe, maybe not for you. But what you should do first is go to the simulation right here and go through the simulation first. And then I'm just going to kind of show you how to do this on paper, like how you, how you had figured out on paper in an easy way. So uh, go do the simulation first, then come back and watch the rest of this video. All right, so here we go. How many sigma and pi bonds are in a molecule of C2H6? Okay, well, the first thing you need to do is to draw, draw the Lewis structure. So what you would do is you, you have C2, uh, let me get my pen working here. So you have C2H6. And so you count up the valence electrons. Carbon has four, but there's two of them, so that's eight. Hydrogen has one and there's six, so eight plus six is 14. So connect everything with a single bond. Uh, hydrogens are go on the ends. All right. <clears throat> and then you count to make sure that you have 14. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Everything has the octet rule satisfied. Okay, so now here's, here's a simple rule. A single bond always equals one sigma bond. Okay, a double bond, okay, so this is the bond here. I don't want to get the bond. Okay, this means equals. So a double bond always equals one sigma and one pi. All right. And so a triple bond will always equal one sigma and two pi bonds. So <clears throat> if we have a single bond, that's always a sigma. A double bond always contains one sigma and one pi. And a triple bond will always contain one sigma and two pi. So a question you might get sometime on a test or something it might say, well, how many sigma bonds and pi bonds are in a molecule C2H6? Well, you just follow this rule. Hey, they're all single bonds. So sigma, 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 sigma. So every bond is a sigma. So you just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one has seven sigma bonds. Okay? Because they're all single bonds. All right? So let's go to one where they're, it, they're not all single bonds. Okay, so C2H4. All right, so we got C2H4, so we got to draw the Lewis structure. So we count up the valence electrons, so we got 8 plus 4, that equals 12. So we connect everything with a single bond. And I didn't draw this hydrogen very well, so I'm going to have to redraw that. I wasn't thinking when I was drawing it. All right. And so. Okay, so C2H4. Now, you <clears throat> can complete the octet and everything. So this carbon has two, four, six. So you could put a lone pair on it if you wanted to to start with. This carbon, two, four, six. Now everything satisfies the octet rule, but you count and you go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, so we're showing 14, but we can only have 12. Uh, that means we have two too many of electrons. So to reduce, you can add a double bond. Remember, you can never double bond hydrogen. But when you add the double bond there, you got to erase the lone pairs. And that kind of took away the carbons. I didn't need to do that. So let me fix those. Okay. So here we have our carbons. And if you count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. All right, so that's the correct Lewis structure. So you always got to have the correct Lewis structure. Okay, a single bond is always a sigma bond. So we got a sigma there, and a sigma there, and a sigma there, and a sigma there. Now a double bond always contains one sigma and one pi. So you just count one, two, three, four, five sigmas and one pi. Okay, that's how you figure out the number of sigma and pi bonds. Okay, let's do one with a triple bond here. So, go to that one. 
All right, so C2H2. So we got C2H2. You count up, you got eight valence electrons plus two there. That's going to be 10. So you got carbon, carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. All right, now you can see that we've got two, four, six. If we complete the octets on everything, that's going to give you two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, 14 is four more than 10. That means we're going to have to add two more bonds. So that means we're going to have to have a triple bond here. And then we have to erase the lone pairs. Try not to erase the carbons. All right, and then that ends up giving us our the right number of electrons shown. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so then the sigma pi bond. A sigma bond, a single bond is always a sigma. So the single bonds are always sigmas. A triple bond will have one sigma and two pi's. So this one has three sigma bonds, one, two, three, and two pi bonds. That's how you figure out the number of sigma and pi bonds. That's it.